What do you do daily? What does that mean? What it means is, productively, what do you do daily? And then when it comes relax time, what do you do daily? It means your routines. It means are you a producer or are you a procrastinator? Or do you have isolated moments where you go all out and then other moments where you crash and burn? Now the key to your success is going to be one word, consistency. Consistency is what you do daily or what you don't do daily. You have to take a good look at it and be objective, honest, rigorously honest about what you do. Now if you find yourself getting overwhelmed and find yourself off track, obviously there's a reason you do that. But if you're also serious about what you do and you are someone who has good habits, there's three components to this process. Your skills, habits, and your mindset because they're going to have an impact on what you do daily. So let's assume I come to your place of business or your home and I spend one day with you. What would I find out? Would I find out that you get up late and then you go work out and then you listen to podcasts, downloads, you listen to personal development, self-improvement and you get ready to get ready and then all of a sudden it's two o'clock, three o'clock and oh my god I must get into action and then something mythically magically happens and you have to take the dog to the veterinarian. You get an emergency phone call. One of your kids has to get picked up at school. Now all of a sudden it's seven o'clock and it's too late for you to do business. Unfortunately, that's a lot of what many people do daily. They don't do a lot. They do nothing. And if that is you, you can only live off credit, borrowed time, and borrowed money for so long. But here's what you should do daily. You should have a daily method of operation. When it comes to your most valuable commodity, T-I-M-E, time, you should be able to account for your time. Time equals this, 86,400 seconds, 1,440 minutes, one hour, one day. How much time are you devoting to your future freedom? If you own a business or you have a job, how much time are you actually devoting to the productive factor of either one of those? And there's two situations. Are you productive or do you procrastinate? Procrastination will lead to disappointment. Production will lead to a result and production will lead to relaxation. Now in those two times, if you're productive, and you, then you can typically relax, but if you're not productive, at the end of your day you'll feel guilty, you'll feel overwhelmed and disappointed. So how do you change? We're back to the change, the method of change, one day at a time. You change by a decision. Let's break down your morning. Idealistically, you should theoretically exercise at some point in the morning. Anywhere from 15 minutes to half an hour to an hour, per, perhaps two hours, but I would suggest you exercise relatively early in the morning, five, six, seven, whatever it is for you, but not to get it over with, but to start the day with it because you want to devote your day to productive time. You should be devoting anywhere from two hour time blocks to four hours to six hours, eight hours, whatever, is you, whatever it is you seek to achieve is going to come down to not only the time you devote, but the value of your time. Your time must be valuable. If your time isn't valuable, then you're invaluable. And to be able to create value in the free market, you have to be able to develop your niches. And your niches are going to be what you become skilled at. And that's where a good percent of your time is devoted in your daily routine is to becoming a professional. But if you continue to stay an amateur because you avoid your most valuable commodity time, then you'll never get compensated through the laws that govern money, numismatic law. And if your objective is to become a six or a seven figure income earner by owning a business or branding a series of products or through your intellectual property, then time must be devoted to action. Action is paramount. Break your day into blocks of time, dedicated blocks of time. That means you have a block of time for exercising. You have a block of time for personal development, self-improvement. You have a block of time for spirituality. You block off time for your extracurricular activities. You have family time. You have alone time. But you have to be able to account for your time. If you spend any amount of time with me, you would see that I can account for every minute and every day of my routine. Now that doesn't mean that I'm a workaholic or a produceaholic, but it means I understand what I get compensated for. When you begin to understand that, then you will devote some of your most valuable commodity time 
to that situation. There's two types of time, relaxation time and production time. When you're producing, you want to produce anxiety-free, and when you're relaxing, you want to be able to relax anxiety-free as well. But if you attempt to relax because you're anxious about what you didn't do, then your body's going to stay in a place called fight or flight, overwhelm, creating a series of biochemicals that keep you emotionally addicted to the effects of past events. Now, if you're already moving past that space and you have a good routine, congratulations. Because you always want to be doing this, refining what you do daily. The key word to daily activity is this, effectiveness. Many people get stuck on the P-E-R-F-E-C-T model, perfect, and they take perfect into perfection, and then perfection into neurotic perfection, and neurotic perfection into where I'm so overwhelmed that I can't start. And here's what it looks like when you're neurotically perfectionistic. You're like, so, oh my God, I have to do this perfectly. I don't know where to start. Oh my God, what am I gonna do? Here's what you do, you breathe. You take a deep breath and you let go, and you do what's going to pay you. So one, once again, what do you do daily?